before you watch this next video on dividing by one digit divisors, I advise that either before or after this video that you watch the song on my YouTube channel about long division. It is to the tune of, tune of the Lumineers, uh, Ho Hey, and it'll help you get those steps down because it's very important that you get these steps. Okay, as you already know that you to, how to use a model because we did it in the last lesson with the money, we need to figure out how to do long division the practical way because not every problem deals with money. So fifth grade class collected $108 to share equally among four charities. They want to figure out how much each gets. So we see 108 divided by four. We need to set this up in the long division brackets. So we put that, our dividend, our big number, on the inside. 108 goes on the inside, four goes on the outside. Now, no, you don't need to find the answer right away. We take it step by step. First, you must divide. Okay, you can't divide 4 into 1 because 1 is smaller than 4. So we have to, you need to put a little X there, um, a little 0, it doesn't matter. Or you could leave it blank and you go over now, instead of 1, you're dealing with 10. And you ask yourself, how many times does 4 go into 10? The answer is 2. So we're going to put a 2, look where I put the 2. I put the 2 directly above the 0. That is extremely important. Then you must multiply. So two times four. Two times four will give me eight. I'll drop down that eight below the 10. Then we subtract. I bring down 10 minus two, eight is two. Then we must bring down. So we'll bring down that eight. So now that two becomes a 28. Last thing we do is check. Is this number, the 28, is that 28 uh, smaller than the 4? If the answer is yes, then that's our remainder. If the answer is no, we must keep going. So now we do all the steps again. So how many times does 4 go into 28? 4 times what will give me 28? The answer is 7. So we're going to put that 7 above the 8. We're going to take 7 times 4 then is 28. Drop it down below the 28. Now we take 28 minus 28, and that's going to give us zero, so we don't have a remainder for this one. So our quotient for 108 divided by 4 is 28. Before I ask you to do uh, two on your own, let's look at one more problem. This problem is 380 divided by 6. Now to do this problem, we do the same steps we did last time. Does 6 go into 3? No, 3 is smaller than 6, so we have to move on to that 8. I'll put a little X there just so I know. Now we're looking at not 8, we're looking at 38. How many times does 6 go into 38? 6 times what will give me an answer close to 38 without going over? Good, 6 times 6 is 36. I'm going to use uh, 6. I'm going to put that 6 directly above the 8 because lining up is incredibly important. So then 6 times 6 is 36. I then take 38 minus 36 to give me the answer of 2. I have to drop my 0, bring down that 0. So now it's not 2, it's 20. How many times does 6 go into 20 without going over? Good, 3 times. 3 times, uh, three times 6 is 18. So again, I do uh, 20 minus 18 to get the answer of 2 again. Now since 2 is less than my divisor of 6, I know that I can stop now and put that as my remainder. To put the remainder, I go up by my, what is now 63, put a capital R, and then 2. Later on, I'm going to show you how to, one, make that into a fraction, and two, continue this problem on to get a decimal, an exact answer, because remainders are relative. What I mean by that is one remainder of two is not the same as the other remainder of two because it depends on the divisor. And we're going to get more into that as we go into, uh, more, into more depth with division. Okay, so why don't you try two problems on your own? Remember, I want to know that you are doing work. You cannot do these problems in your head. So please get out a scrap piece of paper or a whiteboard and do the work off to the side and put the answer. Take off of our last lesson, 
we're going to look at a problem that comes up with an issue that we have not covered yet. It's basically the same steps as the last problem, but a little bit different. So a cycling team, they want to raise $312 for a new bike. They want to raise the same amount for three weeks and figure out how much they need to earn each week. So we take 312 divided by three. Looks the same, we treat it the same. So we start with three divided by three. That's gonna give us one. We put the one above the three, make sure it's lined up. Then we multiply. One times three is three. So three minus, we then we subtract. Three minus three is zero. Last step, we bring down and check. One, all right? Now, we can't stop there because we still have that two to deal with. Does one, or does three, can you divide one by three? No, you can't just move on. You have to put the placeholder above the one. That placeholder is a zero. That zero needs to stay above that one to hold the place of the tens place. Then you can drop your two. Drop that two right in there to turn that one into a 12. All right, so how many times does three go into 12? The answer is four. So the answer to this problem is 104, not 14. Make sure you're putting that placeholder in. If you do not, you will get that answer of 14 and it is wrong. So I'm gonna give you one or two to try here. Remember, you must show your work on, or do your work on a separate piece of paper. These are not mental math questions. And that wraps up topic four already. Okay, so we're going to do some more review in class. I'll work with you if you have any questions, but good luck.